Hello, I am Ron Burgundy, and welcome to CDL News Network. Today we will be giving you information on the weather advisory and what the weather will be like throughout this week. Be careful on the roads. We don't want any car crashes happening. We have many reports of severe thunderstorms coming in, but Bruce will be giving you more intel on that. But until then, I will send you over to Gail, who is reporting live from downtown Seabell, Kansas. Gail? Hello, I'm Gail, and I'm here reporting live at downtown Seville, Kansas. The scene out here has very dark clouds and is extremely moist out here. I advise everyone to stay indoors and stay away from windows. There's so much heavy rain, big flashes of lightning, loud booms of thunder, and ping pong sized balls of hail. Oh no, here comes the storm! I just got a call from Ron, and he said to tell everyone that all schools are shutting down and all businesses will be closing due to the storm. On that note, be careful when driving on interstates and watch for flooding roads. Take a break and get off your phones and other electronics, and focus on driving if you're going home. Now I'll send you over to Bruce for the weekly weather report. The low for Tuesday is night is 54 degrees Fahrenheit with clear skies. Wednesday there will be a high of around 59 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Also today there will be an 85% chance of hail and cloudy skies all day. Also on Wednesday there will be a the thunderstorm will be moving to Washington. So watch out, Washington. This is an intense storm. Thursday, there will be a high of around 48 degrees Fahrenheit and a low of around 36 degrees Fahrenheit and a 90% chance of rain at around noon. And it will go till Friday at 3 p.m. As Friday has a high of around 57 degrees Fahrenheit with a low of around 46 degrees Fahrenheit and an 86% chance of rain and dark clouds all day. Wait, I'm getting something. Ron just said that New York is getting a cold front at this moment, and it may make the, its way to Kansas, so be ready for a cold front. That's all we have for the weekly weather report. Back to you, Ron. Thank you, Bruce. In other news, a local cat gets his head caught in a mousetrap. Cat was hungry for cheese. Cat is in a lot of pain right now, and they can't get his head out of the trap. The owner said, oh wait, we have breaking news. There's been a sighting of a thunderstorm. We advise you to stay inside as there are severe winds, heavy rain, and baseball size hail. Gail will be live on the scene of an accident that happened with two farmers in the extreme weather. I will now send you back over to Gail where she is live from the scene. Gail? I'm back, reporting live at Burnt Crits Farm, which is located a few miles outside of Seville, Kansas. The weather out here is horrendous, and I advise everyone to stay indoors. I have two farmers here at my side who survived lightning bolt strike. Here is Bert and Kurt telling you the story. What happened out there, Bert? Yeah, I don't know really what happened. One moment I'm outside feeding my pigs. The next thing I know, I'm out here trying to save my pigs from getting hurt from all the trees falling on the barn. I saw one of the pigs running outside the barn, so I chased after it. I grabbed that little dude right by the tail, then whap, I get struck by lightning right on my foot. Lightning really scares me. Very interesting. I'm glad you're still with us today and that you're doing fine. What about you, Kurt? What were you doing when you got struck by lightning? Oh, well, me, I was taking care of the garden that me and Bird have. I was putting down the rat killer around the sunflowers. I was holding a metal bucket, and I bent down to pick up the dead rat that I found under one of the rosebud petals. And then, bam, I got struck by lightning right in my booty. I think the bucket had something to do with this, but I really don't know at all. All I know is that it burnt a hole right through my new work jeans. They were seven whole dollars. Oh, wow, that sounds like an awful experience. Thank goodness you're okay. Well, thank you for your time, Bert and Kurt. Have a good day, and watch out for lightning. Yep, bye. See you soon. There you have it, folks. The weather out here in Suvel, Kansas is very deadly, so please take cover and watch out for hail. Oh, no, it's coming back. Also watch for lightning, rain, and thunder. Now I'll send you over to Ron for our show's closing. And that will do it for CDL News Network. And if anyone is wondering about the cat, that got his head stuck in the mouse trap. He didn't make it out. But if anyone is wondering, he did get the cheese. I'm Ron Burgundy, and that's all we have for you to do. Stay classy.